Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> this is about 3 o'clock in the morning. Yesterday, the reason I'm doing this tape <clears throat> this morning is I'm not in Roanoke, Virginia. Right at the moment, I'm a little bit out from it. <clears throat> but the, I'm referencing the shootings at WDBJ7 in Roanoke that has hit the media like a storm. And I, uh, my phone and my video and everything have been down, or most of my phone, but I hope I get this on. What I wanted to say is that the little bit that I could Google, I, this is the first time I haven't had a TV uh, in a month and a half. I usually keep up with the news and everything on a daily, daily basis. But anyway, I um, found out about the shootings yesterday, and uh, I wanted to respond to it. Over the years, I wrote a book in Atlanta in 76 to April Fool Day of 80 when I had any priest put in me. He should have died. It was illegally transported across the state line from Marietta, Georgia to Huntsville, Alabama, where in the condition I was in, I should have died. I had a background check by the sheriff as a requirement for working for Fred Simpson, the uh, Madison County District Attorney in Huntsville, and that's NASA. The stone arsenal and the ballistic, <clears throat> the command center. Anyway, Army Command Center. Anyway, what I really wanted to say here is I wrote about mind control murders. Larry McDonald, uh, Congress, U.S. Congressman and doctor from Atlanta, urologist, was one of the subjects. And I'm leaving out all that was done to me. It's hideous. Um... Coming up the 31st, which is Monday, was the day that the plane uh, was taken down, the KAL that Larry McDonald was aboard, and it went down in the uh, ocean, and all aboard died. He was in uh, route from General Alaska to Seoul, South Korea. And I want to mention this. Now, I had written about him in the Warren and Rosina Matthews murders, which were mind control murders, and they were a forensic uh, pathologist at my Hospital in Atlanta, where Larry McDonald um, practiced urology um, and then became a um, U.S. Congress person. Okay, the plane goes down, and um, former President Nixon was taken off that plane um, in Juneau. So uh, how come? They knew it was going down? But anyway, the point I wanted to make was while I was doing the book that Larry Flint was shot. He was brought to Lawrenceville, Georgia, and shot nearby Marietta where I was doing the book on mind control murders. And Mr. Flint was a mind control murder, and he did a uh, he flew me out there when Larry McDonald uh, the plane went down. And like I said, the anniversary will be next Monday, the 31st. The plane went down August the 31st of '83. And um, Mr. Flint's was a mind control shooting. The person who shot and killed his attorney, shot Mr. Flint, was programmed. So he's a victim, too. And that's what people, they, they chose the perfect weapon, mind control. You can't see it. It's invisible. And the murders I've talked about over the years and flooded the media with it and they won't touch it then you get back to what I've put on recent videos I mean I've got a bunch of them over the last two years because nobody will touch it because of who I am I found out after being out at Mr. Flint's his um, limo driver was with British intelligence and the British told me and the Germans and some Americans but as a whole Americans are living good and they're going to stay that way, I was told, as long as they can. So they had the truth. Larry Flint says here that March the 6th, 78, that I knew who was responsible for a shooting. He mentions Larry McDonald. He, um, when the plane went down, there was a special election, and uh, he uh, flew me out there twice in October, coming up October the 1st of, uh, was the day that, he uh, flew me out there the first time, and then on election day, which was, I believe, October the 16th, I'm not sure, of 83. And, of course, I didn't win, but I came in 7th out of 20, I believe it was. Now then, what I wanted to go to here is um, 
there's a long list of the murders that were done in patterns, and Scott Peterson was one of them, whose attorney was Mark Garibus, who I admire. I think he's one of the few honest uh, people, um, attorneys, whoever, people. So anyway, uh, I wanted to mention, I'm up here, been here in Roanoke, didn't have a place to go. My job shut down, but... Uh, I had gotten a letter from the U.S. Attorney when I did the book, June the 23rd of um, 79, and um, uh, his name was uh, Harper, well, William Harper. And um, the, it was in reference to the FBI investigation. And in my book, I thought, it really it boiled down to who I am and my kidnapping. I was brought to this country in 41, and my mother was born here. But I am not an American. I am British. Now then, um, the uh, U.S. Attorney Harper said it was an ongoing investigation, national security involved. Well, you know where Ed, Edward Snowden, who tried to tell you Americans what was going on in the world, he's in Russia now. And uh, you know where uh, Assad, Julian Assange, uh, he tried to tell everybody with WikiLeaks, and um, you know he's had a, having a really rough time himself. So you can also imagine what's been done to me. I want to say this though about WDBJ7 Channel 10 here. I believe that's WSLS, and and all the uh, you take you go back to Huntsville where I worked for the district attorney, you go back to Atlanta where I wrote the book, and so much happened. Oh, uh, I've been the one that's been run out of town and called names, and back then you couldn't. Uh, when I wrote this book, you didn't know about mind control. I didn't. You couldn't Google or any of that. Now you can Google. So mine came from research and from the people that. I now know meant for me to write uh, to tell about it. It was done in pattern, so it can be proven. Now, whether I live to see the media have to tell it, because they didn't have to tell about who I am and my kidnapping, which is an ugly, ugly thing, and what's been done to me here and still being done. But I want to get to this. I went to WDBJ7 constantly over the years since 86 when I came here with nothing on my back. Nothing for when October, I believe it was, 20th of 86. And I lived on the Appalachian Trail and froze and starved. And it's shocking the way I have been treated and what's been done to me. That's the least of it. But here's what I was telling. The um, uh, Virginia Tech shootings, which was April the 16th of 07, I believe, 33 were shot. That was one of the program shootings. The shooter was under mind control. He's a victim, too. This man was a psychiatrist, Fort Hood. Uh, I believe he's on death row, uh, but he finished school at Virginia Tech. He was born in Roanoke, uh, Venton here. And um, <clears throat> so there's a long list of these mind control murders, and they go back to celebrities that have been killed. Robin Williams supposedly committed suicide. Uh, you go back to Wayne Williams um, in the Atlanta uh, murders that happened. He's supposed to kill the black children, and they every so often they updated on CNN. So ask yourself why. But anyway, what they're doing with it. But anyway, the Sandy Hook. How would you like for your child to be programmed? He doesn't know he's being programmed. Um, his behavior modified, and have him shoot and kill or take a knife, however, uh, the Sandy Hook, uh, Adam Lanza, Lanza, that was mind control. The kid was under mind control. He had no um, control over his actions. He didn't even know he was going to do it. So you defame these people. Their lives are ruined. He's dead. His mother's dead. And I tried to tell about it. Yesterday on the bus, the van, I can hardly get on it anymore. I'm in such bad health. But I was trying to tell when I found out about WDBJ7, the shootings, and uh, people won't listen to you. They want a villain, and they don't want to go to who's doing the programming or the Americans that let it happen and shut it up or the media and force them to tell it. Uh, and that's what's going to have to be done. 
so I, I thought, well, I was talking to this, he was a black man or a black 